Will the grand bargain pass or fail? I've seen different reports saying different things. Uh, Jenny, I've had, I probably answered this question like three or four times already, but it is one of the most common questions people are asking. Again, the grand bargain is a, a transportation thing primarily, but it involves some of the governor's pet carbon projects where he wants to reduce carbon outputs. And what they've done is they've linked together, the governor and his supporters have linked together four different bills and, and maybe five, depending how you count it. And basically said, if any, for any, for all of these to pass, uh, it, it, they all have to pass. For any one to pass, they all have to pass. And that, uh, Jenny, tactically, politically, may have been a mistake because they've been able to push through a couple of the pieces of this grand bargain package, but not all of it. And since there's language in each of the pieces inserted by amendment usually, that if, if A passes but B, C, and D aren't all passed, then A doesn't take effect, they've essentially linked them too heavily together, too closely together, and it doesn't look like all the pieces are gonna pass through. So none of them will take effect, even though a couple of the pieces have actually passed and, and will go to the governor's desk. But they won't be effective until the other pieces also pass. Uh, if I were putting together the package, I wouldn't have done that, but, but that's what they did, and, and there you go. So I think what it is, is the governor will claim victory, signing a couple of pieces of this package into law, even though they don't take effect, they're basically kind of frozen until the other pieces get passed. And that raises the question, when do the other pieces get passed? Do they get passed at the next regular legislative session, which is currently the soonest it could happen? Or does the governor call a special session of the legislature to focus on passing those other pieces of his low carbon green economy deal? Um, we're content for the time being, Jenny, that this thing is kind of stuck in limbo because the main takeaway from this package is that it's going to hurt people in Washington. It's going to raise the cost of gasoline and diesel fuel at the pump by at least 60 cents a gallon and maybe a dollar or more. And that is something I completely disagree with and will do everything I can to, uh, to knock down. So uh, for the moment, at least at this point, on the last day of the legislative session, it looks like the pieces will not all get through. But I'll confirm this in a few days after everything's done, and we can talk in more detail about what it's gonna look like going forward. But for now, it looks like the grand bargain of green dreams is stuck in Olympia again.